Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm showcasing the latest release by Aldenew. Just like always, it is packed with beautiful stamps and ties. I'm going to browse quickly through all of these so you can take a close-up look and then I'm going to share three cards for inspiration. Now this is also part of a blog hub, so make sure to visit my blog to learn all about the giveaways and the rest of the stops. This is the One Friend tiny stamp set, it comes with two sentiments about friendship and lots of tiny little hearts. This is the pressed leaf die, it really creates a beautiful design on top of a paper and I will be using this today so you can see the effect. If you like frames, there are a couple of designs in this release, this is the freely framed die, it has a lovely intricate design all around, you can use it to create a window or a frame on top of a card, and here's another design, this is the mid-century framed die, and I will be using both those frames as an example today in my cards, so you can see them in action. This is the sentiment strips in a versatile font and uh, in a very good size for cards, it includes sentiments such as make a wish, to the lovely couple, many congrats to you, you make me so happy, so you will find there something for pretty much any occasion. If you need a sentiment stamp set that is really versatile, I absolutely recommend this one. This is the Welcome Home stamp set and there are matching dies available. It's one of those stamp sets that has three stamps to layer one on top of the other to create a beautiful uh, uh, design. You, in the die you will get uh, a circle to cut out that uh, bunch of flowers as well as the word Welcome that comes as a stamp as well. And you can see at the back how you can put everything together. This would make a great background for any of your die cut sentiments. Plus it's really versatile and would fit pretty much any occasion. Now here is a gorgeous stamp set, this is called Sunflower Daisy, there are matching dies available as well as stencils, and I have plans for this gorgeous stamp set, I will be using it to create one of my pages in my Year in Flowers project, I don't know if you follow my art journal journey, but uh, I have a um, journal where I add pages with flowers in an alphabetical order, and this stamp set would be perfect for the letter S. This is the Pen Sketch Mandala, it gives you this gorgeous design and it comes with two little circles that you can mix and match at the center of the main design. It also comes with lots of sentiments that you can mix and match. There are so many techniques to use with a big uh, stamp like this one to create beautiful designs and colorful ones. And let's move on to one of the layering flowers stamp sets. This is the Peaceful Reverie. It creates those beautiful layered flowers. It's one of those layering stamp sets that isn't difficult to align, there aren't many steps and uh, everything is really forgiving. Oh, and there is a matching stencil available for that set. Now, if you love geometric patterns, you will absolutely love this one. This is called Pattern Power and it has uh, different stamps that you can layer together to create your patterns. You can create different looks just by using different colored inks. You can do emboss resist with them, you can just stamp them and emboss them with uh, different colored embossing powders, so many different ways you can use these type of designs. Now this is the leaf clusters and there are available uh, dies as well, and uh, although it doesn't look uh, so exciting, it is for me, it's an absolute favorite from this release, because I feel that uh, leaves can be used again and again in your projects to combine them with the flowers that you might have to make your bouquet look fuller. You can use them for both masculine and female cards, and I will be using this today. And I left the most gorgeous one last, this is the Forever in Love, look how gorgeous these flowers are, you can uh, stamp and color it in with your favorite mediums, if you love coloring in stamps I know you will have lots of fun using this stamp set. And I will be using this for one of my cards today, so you can see that in action as well. For my first card I'm going to use the pressed leaf die and you can see the lovely effect that it gives. I place it on a piece of craft cardstock and I'm running it through my die cutting machine. And you can see that it doesn't cut out completely the leaf, but it gives you the opportunity to lift up those leaves all around. And this way you can reveal what's underneath. So this would be great for creating a shaker card to have glitter underneath. You can create a beautiful watercolored look underneath. So many different ways to go with. 
I decided to go with a shimmer cardstock by Tonic and uh, I'm going to combine craft with chocolate brown as well as this beautiful uh, green. Now I'm also going to use that same green cardstock to cut out a very thin strip which I will be using as a stem for my leaf. So I'm just going to cut it down and stick it there. Now it's time to put my card together and as uh, you watch me do that I need to let you know that this is a scheduled post. I have pre-filmed lots of videos as I'm spending most of my days at the beach so I might not be very responsive to your questions but do ask whatever you like. I will be eventually see them and reply. For my sentiment I went with one from the sentiment strips stamp set that says make a wish and I think this would make a great birthday card for uh, guys. I stamped it on this chocolate brown cardstock and applied my embossing powder in green that matches perfectly the, colored, the green colored cardstock. By the way, this is an embossing powder by Ranger and you will find it linked down below. Just like the rest of the products that I'm using for today. To finish off my card, I'm going to add a few gems in that uh, lovely green color that matches the rest of my card. And uh, if this is going to be a masculine card, you can of course omit this step if you want to. And here is a close-up look where you can see that green cardstock peeking underneath the leaves. And since I had all those greens and browns on my table already from this card, I decided to use the same color combo for the next one. So for this one I will be using the leaf clusters and you can see the leaflet inside so that you can get some ideas on how you can combine the leaves with flowers or use them on their own. I am using grass field to stamp a bunch of those leaves and I won't be using all of them on this card but since I had everything out I thought it would be fun to cut out a few more to use in future cards. So I am stamping a second layer just to get a better impression. And there are many ways to add shadows in these uh, clusters. One way is to go with a darker shade and just touch up different areas of those uh, leaves. Here I'm using Shadow Creek and I will show you another way later on while I'm making this card. I use the matching dies to cut out all my leaves and now they are ready to go. I have this chocolate brown cardstock and I'm going to lay on top the mid-century frayed die but instead of using the actual frame I'm going to use the negative. This is going to provide a window for me, I can bag it with a colored cardstock and then stamp my sentiment there. You can see here how the frame looks, it's really gorgeous and I can use that on another card. Now this is a very intricate design so I would suggest to use a metal shim for your die cutting machine to make sure that it cuts out everything neatly. Now I'm adding some double sided tape at the back of my frame and just to make sure that all those little uh, uh, rays are going to be stuck down on my paper I'm using some glue, this is a um, large glue pen by Nuvo I believe and you will find it linked down below I'm going to lay this on top of my yellow panel and it creates a beautiful area, whatever you place there it's going to stand out even more. You can just stamp a sentiment or add there your focal point. I'm going to stamp the sentiment there that comes from the same stamp set as the leaves and it says stay awesome. I'm stamping that with uh, embossing ink and I'm going to apply white embossing powder. And I'm going to set my ink with my heat gun. Make sure that for embossed sentiments as well as really detailed images you use fine embossing powder just to get all the details that you need. I used my Nouveau Deluxe at the back and I'm going to stick it on top of a standard card base and I'm going to embellish that with my lips. Now here I'm showing you another way to add some shadows on these stamped images. You can just use an alcohol marker and add a few strokes. It doesn't have to be perfect, just a few brush strokes will do the trick. For the first cluster of leaves, which is the biggest, I'm using a white glue at the back and I'm going to stick it directly on top of my card base. 
While for the second cluster of leaves I'm using tiny little foam squares at the back so that I can add some dimension when I lay one on top of the other. I love how full it looks when you lay one on top of the other. And of course don't forget that you don't have to use the leaves on their own like I did here. You can always combine them with any flower stamps that you might have at your stash. It is embellishing time so I'm sticking a little bow at the base of those stems and I'm also going to finish it off by adding some uh, yellow gems and here is a close-up look on the finished card. I think that this frame is really stunning and would make any focal point on top of it really shine. For the last card for today I'm going to use the Forever in Love stamp set. This is the most beautiful from the whole release in my opinion. And here is the inside of the leaflet where you can see different suggestions on how you can use these stamps. I'm going to use my mist to do some stamping. For that I'm using black permanent ink which is alcohol friendly. I'm going to stamp that a couple of times to get a good impression. And then I'm going to go ahead and start coloring. I am using my Altenew alcohol markers today and you can see the colors that I used for the leaves on your screen right now. I started with two shades of green but later on I did add a lighter one. And that is my favorite color combo for coloring leaves. And now for the flowers I did go with the same color scheme for both of them and you can see the colors that I used on your screen right now. If you notice sometimes I go lighter to darker, other times I go darker to lighter. I really don't pay so much attention into coloring and I find that with these markers when you know that three colors match they will end up really looking beautiful. So I did the same technique for all the petals, one after another. And then I used the matching die to cut out my image. Now for this card I'm going to use the freely framed die and I'm going to cut it out from this glitter cardstock. I am using a metal shim on my die cutting machine just to make sure that this intricate die is going to cut out nicely. And you can see here how gorgeous it looks after popping out all those little pieces. Now I have another piece of glitter cardstock in uh, white this time. I'm going to stick that on a panel that I have that is black. I think that uh, all those colors are going to give a striking look at the finished card. I have again a very thin strip of that uh, glitter gold cardstock that I used for the frame. And then on top I'm going to stick my flowers by using foam tape at the back and you can see how everything comes together. For my sentiment I went with You're Amazing from the Sentiment Strips stamp set that I white embossed on a very thin strip of black cardstock. I was really happy with how this card came out, I find it really pretty. So these were the products for today, I hope you had fun, that you got inspired. Don't forget that this is part of a blog hop, so make sure to visit my blog to find all the information about the giveaways and the rest of the stops in the hop. Make sure to leave me a comment down below to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me today and I hope to see you all next time.